Tom Simmons here with... Uh, I'm Vince DeSantis. I'm the mayor of Gloversville, New York. And we are here today to talk about brownfield sites. HRP had previously helped the city of Gloversville with obtaining funding through the EPA for site assessment activities at different brownfield sites. We're going to be taking a look at some of them today. Uh, Mr. Mayor, can you tell us about the first one here? You know, this is uh, where we are now is the land of tradition leather. It was a tannery, a leather tannery for a long time. And of course, there's the perception or the actual appearance of, of pollution uh, with respect to heavy metals that were used in the tanning industry. And so this site is one of the first priorities of the city. In, in all of our, our interface with the population, this is always on the top of the list. And one of the reasons for that is that where we are standing is not only across the street from an elementary school, Kingsborough Elementary School, but in the middle of, in almost every direction, stable residential neighborhoods. So, you know, when you talk about this area, this is the, the, the one site that is that detracts dramatically from the value of, you know, the investment of people in their homes in this, in this neighborhood. And so a cleanup of this site would dramatically improve the area. The impact of a cleanup here would be, uh, you know, just have wide a wide ripple effect on this part of the city. You know, we're in the, the throes. The first part of this is the actual cleanup of the site. We're hoping to take title to the property and HRP has helped us, you know, uh, develop plan of action for demolishing the buildings that have to come down, uh, cleaning up the debris on the site, and at least making it not an eyesore so that we can do some more assessment of what might may be in the ground, pinpoint where that pollution is, and actually apply to EPA for the money for actual cleanup of the site. And when we talk about cleanup, we're talking about a complete cleanup to residential standards. So now we are a few blocks away from the last site. This is the Reisdorf Tannery. There's significant amount of pollution in, in this area. This is all city owned at present, but it was for many years, the site of an ongoing tanning operation. The thing about this site, it has, it has two ponds, uh, an upper pond and a lower pond. And our hope is to restore the pond. We do have an application into EPA for a half a million dollar grant for the first phase of a restoration for actual cleanup money. Now this is our first application application for cleanup money and um, and we would be working on cleaning up the area that includes these ponds the dredging and cleanup of anything here the rest of the property is subject to a record of decision by New York State DEC that calls for a cleanup to residential standards we're, we're hoping to do some more evaluation more environmental assessment to see if we can pinpoint the areas where that environmental uh, compromise exists. You know, with the land area around it and the fact that it was a lot of woodland that has never been developed just to the north, that this could really be developed into a great trail system for bike trails, for cross-country skiing, for snowshoeing. And, and if we go all the way to the top of the hill to the north, there's a scenic overlook. And at the top, there is what used to be the reservoir for the city of Gloversville back in the 1800s. It's still there and it's a very high point so that you could actually look down and see the entire city from up there. So it could be a great area for climbing. We could develop a, a picnic area up on top and, and some other recreational amenities. So it has a lot of potential. We feel that initially uh, a great use would be uh, commercial. So that there could be you know, a snack bar or a restaurant you know, ski rentals, bike rentals, those types of things at the bottom here, and at the top, the trails and the whole trail system. Amazing to be able to uh, do some uh, Nordic skiing in the middle of the city like this. We wanted to redevelop this so it's a benefit to the residential neighborhoods around it. This is the, the site of what used to be Decca Records. When I was a kid, this was a manufacturer of vinyl records, and it's a very large, building it takes up just about an entire block and it's in a residential area it's also very close to downtown 
only a few blocks from City Hall to the south. The FGMG rail trail goes all the way through the city of Gloversville from north to south. It goes out into the town of Mayfield to the north and all the way through the city of Johnstown to the south. For a large part of its length, it goes along the Cayadetta Creek. The creek is here, right on the other side of this fence, going right past the property. It's owned by a private owner, but it's a, a very cooperative private owner. This is one of the buildings that we hope will be acceptable for adaptive reuse because it's a very large building. It could be cut up into live workspaces, light manufacturing. Around the edges uh, is, is a two-story structure, which could be you know residential space. In the center, there's a large open space that could be used for manufacturing, uh, having a lot of machinery and equipment in there for manufacturing, perhaps to be shared by several artisans. And so we're gonna be starting to evaluate the area uh, with the permission, of course, of the owner to see if there's any contamination, any environmental uh, compromise at all. Once we get ever, all, all the information, we'll be actively hoping to market this space for the owner uh, to a new developer who's willing to invest in Gloversville. All right, folks, thanks for joining us today. It is springtime here in Gloversville, and that means new life and new vitality in nature, and it looks like in the city itself. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, you're very welcome. You know, with the help of HRP and with the help uh, of our relationship with EPA, hopefully we'll be able to move forward on several of these sites. You've, you've got a, a brief view of three of them, but there are several more in Gloversville that we're very interested in. And as we move forward, uh, really the sky's the limit when we talk about redevelopment. Thank you.